What's up, everybody? It's your man's KJ the Great, and welcome back to All Sports Media TV. And we've got epic news. Yep, epic news in the sport of boxing. And yes, I think we might finally, finally get a fight we've been wanting. So the WBC, the World Boxing Council, has ordered their lightweight champion, Sugar Shakur Stevenson, to face off against William Zapata in defense of his title. Now, this is epic. This is epic. So let's talk about Shakur real quick. He's coming off of a unanimous decision win. Um, another outing that just wasn't what the fans wanted to see. You know, the fans were wanting him to go in and get the stoppage. I thought he should have went in and got the stoppage myself. Um, you know, keep the critics down and 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 you know, I don't, overall just bring up his value. I guess he's very valuable fighter, but I mean, valuable in the sense of. Now he's a network promotional free agent, meaning his last fight with our team Harutanian was his last fight on his contract. Now he was offered a fight uh, deal, a five fight deal from Bob Arum, top ranked ESPN, um, that would have saw him get three million dollars per fight. Well, he turned it down. Um, turned it down, and I would say probably rightfully so as he's looking for the big names and the big money fights. And that's okay. There's no knock on it. Um, it's understandable where he's at in his career. So there's no no knock on it. Um, but he just has to perform well. Uh, his last outing before that was against Edwin De Los Santos, about, about the same amount of time, about a year or so, something like that. Um, and that wasn't a great showing at all. Um, he had a hand injury. And in that fight, they both combined for, I think, 67 total punches landed. He landed uh, 40 plus and it, Edwin De Los Santos only landed like 18 or so punches throughout 12 rounds in a championship fight. It was it was bad. Um, you can see he wasn't one to willing to throw his hand because his hand was hurt. My opinion, postpone the fight so you can give the fans what they want to see. Right. Um. So again, he's a network promotional free agent. Now he's been shopped around and is shopping around for other promoters, um, promoters like Eddie Hearn, um, Oscar De La Hoya, Floyd Mayweather. You know, there, there's a lot of promoters out there that are willing to sign Shakur Stevenson because he's a big name um, and he's a very skilled fighter. Now his opponent or said to be opponent if this fight gets made i hope it does we're gonna say it will william zapata undefeated 31 wins no losses no draw 27 wins by way of knockouts the man is on a tear he's on a tear and he's a southpaw as well and he like he he loves to get in there and bang he definitely is an exciting fighter to watch his last outing was the same day as shakur stevenson that saw him get a, uh, a, excuse me, a knockout victory, early knockout victory over Giovanni Cabrera. Um, I didn't do a video on that fight, but I did pay close attention to it. I thought he was going to knock him out at some point. I thought it would be a little bit later because I watched Cabrera fight before. Maybe it's just a difference in styles that uh, I've seen, but he got that stoppage, man, and and um, immediately let it be known that. He wants the top guys himself because he he's yet to uh, have a world title. And, of course, he's hungry for a world title. Oscar De La Hoya is going to push him the best he can to get a world title. Um, his fight before that, I did do a video on um, last year. It was, uh, um, excuse me, earlier this year. I didn't do a video on this one. It was against Maxi Hughes in uh, Las Vegas. He got a um, pretty much a stoppage in that fight as well. And the fight I was going to talk about was the TKO victory that he got last year over Marcito Gesta. Crazy, crazy knockouts, man. This guy, he's he's strong, fast. Um, he's a banger. And Shakur Stevenson is on record saying that he wants this fight um, because he believes he has the style to beat 
William Zapata, and William Zapata has the style to bring the best out of him. That right there is something that is to be seen. I would love, to, I can't wait to see it. Now, William Zapata is signed with Golden Boy Promotions, Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions. Oscar De La Hoya, you know, he spoke about signing Shakur Stevenson, saying that if he does sign him, you know, he'll get the William Zapata fight, um, potentially move up and wait, fight Ryan Garcia, and then move back down and wait and fight Javante Tank Davis or Lomachenko, the winner of that fight. Um, which in my opinion, that would be okay aside, aside from moving up and wait. What would be the purpose of moving up and wait and fighting uh, Ryan Garcia other than for the money, big name, pay-per-view? Nothing. Ryan Garcia ain't got no titles. He ain't never been a world champion. He's only fought. He's never even fought for a world championship. Oh, well, yeah, he never even fought for a world championship because the fight he had with Devin Haney um, was not a world championship fight. It, it proceeded and went on, but he missed weight, so it wasn't a championship fight. Had he made weight, thought he had the game plan, regardless of the um, PEDs and suspension and all that that came afterwards. I thought he, if, if he came in with that same game plan, a little bit more dedicated, he probably could have won the fight. Who knows? Um, but yeah, this fight um, is scheduled to go to a purse bid uh, at on August 20th, if they don't get come to some type of terms or something like that. So it does give, you know, uh, Shakur Stevenson a more pressing time because August is coming right up, but a more pressing time to get signed with a promoter. And the one uh, he did, he was talking to Eddie Hearn with Matchroom. Um, they sat down yesterday. No word about anything yet. So we'll have to see what. Um, the other promoters are offering. He did say if the money was right and the plan is right, that he will go ahead and sign with Eddie Hearn um, because Eddie Hearn is one of the top promoters in the world. He's built himself into being just that. Um, he definitely is 100% behind his guys. No matter where they are fighting at, no matter who they're fighting, he's always 100% behind his guys. So I think that's something that Shakur Stevenson needs. In my opinion, it don't matter whether it's Eddie Hearn or any other promoter, but he needs a promoter who's definitely heavy on the promotion. Um, you know, give him a little bit of what he's looking for pay wise and, you know, to get him to the pay-per-view market because he hasn't fought on pay-per-view yet. So um, what do you guys think about this fight? Shakur Stevenson is 22 wins, no losses, no draws, 10 wins by way of knockout. Um, high ring IQ, great footwork, great hand speed, great counter punching ability. Um, definitely can um uh can control um the pace of uh, what his opponents do. He loves to allow his opponents to come to him, so this fight could be a tailor made fight for him. You never know. Uh, but what do you guys think about this fight? Shakur Stevenson versus William Zapata, probably sometime later this year if this fight gets made. I want to see it. I know y'all want to see it. We all want to see it. Let me know in the comments. Peace.